morning happy hump day wednesday everyone hope you guys are doing well this morning so <clears throat> i have an interesting uh broadcast today i was waiting for that to pop up so that i could um share it out hope you guys are doing well see the title it says need help in your business need help in your business so if you guys hear some noise in the background it's the uh, lawn care people and it's funny because i am incorporating them in what i want to talk to you Last about day, uh, on today i had this an amazing um aha <clears throat> that is business related that i want to share with you and i definitely want to share it uh now that they're here they really they really made me think about uh this so I, I told you guys, if you hear something in the background, it's, it's my lawn care people. And I actually just started using their services like today. <laughs> and so I, I had a guy who normally uh, services my lawn for me. And um, he wasn't able to be as consistent as I would like. And... Um, he did a really, really amazing job. He was really, really good. My yard looked really thorough uh, when he finished, but he wasn't always able to be consistent. And so I was riding the other day and I saw uh, like these three big lawnmowers, you know, the ones that you stand on and ride on. And I said, hey, let me, you know, just ask a simple question. Um, and so I asked them, I said, uh, can I get your business card? And so they stop what they're doing, go to the truck, get me a business card. And then I said, um, well, how much do you normally charge for a yard around this size? Because that yard may have been a little bigger than my yard. Um, and the guy says, I'm not sure. The boss man would have to tell you that, right? And so I say, okay, cool. So I call the number, um, ask them, can, you know, are they taking new customers? Can they actually even come out and do an estimate on my yard? And he says, sure. So about... Three hours later, he was calling me back with an estimate. Now, the first company I was using that um, was taking care of my lawn care for me, they had about 37 yards, so he was busy. He wasn't always able, you know, to get to me, and he was actually kind of doing me a favor, squeezing me in, because he'd already said he didn't want to take, you know, any more customers. And so, this particular company, as I'm, you know, conversing with them, and they, they're giving me my quote, and they asked how often, you know, would I like my yard cut? And I said about every 10 to 14 days, but when, it, you know, during the raining season, if it picks up, you know, that'll be fine. And he said, well, I won't be able to take you as a customer unless I do your lawn every single week. I want you guys to listen really thoroughly about what I'm sharing. And then I'm going to help you relate this, all of this to your business. And so he gives me the price and... You know i go for it i said really i really wanted my grass cut like every single week anyway that was ultimately you know my desire for for my business <clears throat> now in conversation with me he tells me that he has over 400 yards he has over 400 yards and then he also um cuts for some property management places and so i want you guys to know this the two distinctions so the first company I was using had 37 yards and struggled to get me in. This particular company has over 400 yards. They do, you know, investment property. You guys can probably hear them now, that noise in the background. And they were still able to get me in. So a couple things that I realized. Now he told me also, this is really huge. He said he wasn't able to get me in at all until this Saturday. And I said, okay, I'm cool. You know, we can rock out with it that way. I said, but if by chance you can, I have company coming in town on Thursday and I really like, you know, the lawn cut. And he, he said, I don't know if I could get to it. And I said, okay, that's cool. Saturday's fine. It's Wednesday, guys, and they're outside. It's Wednesday and they're outside. Now, I definitely wasn't expecting the owner to come to, you know, cut my yard. But the owner came to cut my yard today. And the reason I feel, you know, that the owner came is because before he takes on the property, he wants to see 
what it really entails to cut this particular property. Um, he checked for like dips or holes in the lawn and you know, all kinds of things. He just really did an overview of my property. And so many times when people go to hire assistants or um, administrative staff, uh, someone for their front desk or customer service, so often they don't do what he did. And so many people think when it's time to build a grower team, whether you're getting a VA um, assistant or something of that nature, that you just hire this person, tell them what you want done, and then send them off. But you're going to have your best results in your business when it's time for you to grow and get help, whether it's a VA or um, an administrative assistant or whether it's an assistant for you inside your salon or even growing a team, other people, you know, to do services on customers, if you at least have a system of checks and balances. I remember as when I owned a brick and mortar business, I owned a full service salon and day spa for about 10 years prior to consulting full time. And I created systems for the people that I would hire. So, you know, there was a training program that I created for uh, my front desk, um, there was orientation um, that was set out in a system. And I noticed that when I trained someone and then I had them to train someone, sometimes there would be a little, um, it, it may not be as smooth as if I had trained them, right? And that's because once you train one person to come in and work with you, they adapt their own way to get done, you know, what you desire in your business and it comes out amazing. But oftentimes when it's time for them to train, there may be some things left out. So a lot of times when we think about hiring people in our business, getting an assistant, a virtual assistant or, or whatever the case may be as far as you're building your team, we often think that we just set it and forget it. But it's important that you're continuously going back and tweaking the systems. You don't have to put the system in place again, but you do have to tweak the system. And what I wanted to bring about, about the two companies that I shared with you, this person uh, only had 37 yards and couldn't take any more yards. This other company had over 400, right? And some investment properties, but it was because he had help. And so many service-based business owners find themselves in a position where they can't take any more clients, um, they're overworked, um, and they feel like they're underpaid. They actually create a job for themselves because they don't go and get help. Whatever form of help that you need. Um, also, I noticed about the second company is that he has a strategy. I imagine he's not gonna be coming back cutting my yard every week. He just wanted to do um, an overview, good morning, he wanted to do an overview of what to expect so he know what to tell you know his workers and things of that nature uh, to do and so this company was able to grow immensely because they had help I shared with you all when I first saw them cutting someone else's lawn it was like three guys out there working and the first company that I used it would be the one guy so it would take him you know pretty much a long time to to cut my yard whereas they haven't been here they may have been here um, going on an hour now and they're probably really really close to finishing so where is it in your business are you doing all of the work and not getting help or even not getting a new strategy for your business that will actually allow you to grow so many times when we think about investment and and I'm gonna boldly say this one, we haven't been taught, but two, it is a poverty mindset because oftentimes when we think about investing, we think about what we're losing while we're spending, but we don't think about what we're going to gain from the process. Um, having a customer uh, care coordinator was one of the first things that I did when I started my business. They were able to handle all of my client calls. They were able to help me with email marketing. They were able to help me with inventory, just things so that I could focus on the profit producing things. One of the reasons I actually hired a lawn care company, um, because for years, um, it was something that we did as a family, 
but it took forever. I was on over an acre of land and it was just a huge yard and it was an all day project. But I am doing one of the most profit producing things in my business, which is coming to bring value to you all while that is being done for me. So we have to move from the mindset that we have to do it all because there are but so many um, hours in the day and there are but so many things that you can do alone in your business without having some type of help, even if the help is simply a new strategy so that you can produce more profit right in a shorter amount of time and i thought that was an amazing example to mm -hmm. share with you mm -hmm. all of course you know it wasn't my intention to specifically share that but when they popped up i was like you know is he here like on wednesday and he told me saturday and you know what that did for me i said one he listened so oftentimes guys we lose money with customers and clients because we're so so busy in the paint right with all of the you know added things that we're doing in our business that it doesn't allow us to listen and actually create another level of value for the the current customers that we have i would refer him hand over foot at this point right there would be i i, I mean there would be no reason you know that i wouldn't refer him and so people refer you even quicker when when you add extra value to what it is that you're offering for them. And so I'm going to share with you all this morning. I actually was on a call with a client on yesterday. It was yesterday. And at the end of our conversation, I asked her, you know, how do you like to, you know, learn information? Do you like to learn it in person or virtually, you know, online? Do you have a preference? And she said she preferred to, to learn in person, um, but she could do both. And so I was trying to figure out what would be the best way for us to work together. And when I thought about that, I began explaining to her, you know, how she could work with me in person. And after hearing how or what was included in those opportunities, it was a it was an instant yes, you know, for her. So I said, I am going to take a few days to share with you all some specific ways that I can help you in your business and ways that you can work with me. So normally once a month, I do what's called a five day marathon. And I normally choose a topic, any given topic and talk about it, broadcast about it for five days. So I'm gonna share uh, different ways that, that you guys can work with me that may be more clear and specific to your needs because I'm actually explaining them. Uh, before I you know, get into that, I'm gonna do a quick introduction, although I feel like I'm full-fledged <laughs> into our training for today. But I, my biggest thing is I pray that you got value by the two examples that I gave you all. So many times we wanna grow in our business not realizing that we're one person, right? So we're alone with our own thoughts and our busy routine that doesn't allow us to really implement and focus on the most profit producing things that are going to allow us more time freedom as we're on our journey to financial freedom so who am i i am tanya wilson cherry i am a transformational growth strategist business consultant and certified life coach i help service-based business owners uh, aspiring coaches and salon professionals uh, to create systems and strategies in their business that allow them to brand, build, and profit on another level. I, <clears throat> uh, my consulting and coaching is unique in that I operate from a three-point perspective. So I focus on mindset, personal growth, and business building. And one of the main reasons that I offer a full circle approach um, especially with personal growth and mindset is because even though systems and strategies are my superpowers, so they come naturally for me, there was a time in my business building journey where I had opened my brick and mortar business. I got married after that and then after that I had a baby all in a three year time frame. And uh, my marriage was dysfunctional at that time. And so no matter how many strategies and systems I knew, my personal life was rolling over into my business. And it was during a very critical time that 
I sat down and devised uh, strategies to get unstuck. And many of those strategies involved my thinking, um, me growing personally, and I felt that I would be doing a disservice to only teach systems and strategies. How many of you have taken a course or a class online before and you know that you know the strategies were amazing? You knew that they worked, maybe there were other people inside the course or class who you know were just rocking it out. They were getting amazing results. But for whatever reason, you weren't able to get the same results. Um, oftentimes, that is um, something dealing with our thinking or, you know, our mindset or just some things that we're going through personally. And so whenever I found that I shared um, mindset tools and personal growth tools in addition to, and you guys see me moving because I'm attempting again to share that out it's slow on over there but whenever i share uh my teaching and concepts in a full circle perspective my clients smash it so you know when they come to me we'll coach through their thinking like how they're thinking about what it is that they're applying or what it what it is that they need to do personally to align with the very actions that they need to take in their business and it's the best position I could ever have placed my, my brand in because it gets my clients the best results. And that is my number one goal for consulting is that my clients get amazing results. You know, other than that, it's like, what, what is it for if the clients aren't getting amazing results? And so if you know that, you know, maybe you've struggled <clears throat> to implement and things of that nature, oftentimes it's a mindset tool that you need or um, a personal growth strategy that aligns with your thinking that will help you to implement uh, those particular strategies. So I was sharing, uh, so that's what I do in the marketplace and for my clients, help them to form systems and strategies that help take their business to the next level with the focus on branding, uh, <clears throat> building their business and, and giving them strategies that actually allow them to profit. Uh, I was sharing that I was on a call with uh, one of my clients on yesterday and when she shared with me that she's actually, hey Anita, how are you dear? She's actually more of a visual learner. I began explaining to her, I mean more of a learner in person. <clears throat> I began explaining to her ways, you know, that she could work with me in person and it made me decide to come on and share those different ways with you all. Um, sometimes when we hear exactly what's included, we can say, you know what, that's, that's for me, that is what I need. And I don't think that I've done the best job in explaining the different ways that people can work with me in their business. So I'm going to spend the next five days kind of talking about that. So uh, in person, today I'm just going to talk about how, uh, for those of you who really learn better when you're in front of a person, when you're in their presence, I'm going to talk about ways that you can work with me in person. Uh, the first way being a one-day uh, VIP strategy session. And that session, and I wrote all of my things down for you guys, includes a, a full day of private focus on you and your business. So I look at about six areas with that particular uh, VIP day. We sit down for about five to six hours, and we really just deep dive on your business and what's going to take it to the next level. So we do review and reflection. Um, we do vision casting. And what vision casting is, is when you're able to clearly um, share with me where it is you want your business to head. And then we do um, brand strategy and planning. And that's when I've taken the vision that you have and help you to create an actual strategy for it, um, to plan it out. We go over business and brand clarity during that VIP day and then operational systems. So we look at systems in your business to see where there may be gaps. Hey Keith, how are you in your business? Uh, that if you fill those gaps in, everything will shift and you'll profit differently. So that day is a day uh, to look at things that allow you more time freedom, to attract your ideal clients, um, more control and less frustration in your business and to develop uh, specific strategies. Again, that's a five to six hour time frame in person with me. Those VIP days are held either in Raleigh, North Carolina, 
or Greenville, North Carolina. Um, if you're flying into the area, normally I'll do the Raleigh area because there's a major airport there. Greenville has an airport as well, but there's a major um, airport in Raleigh. And we sit down and we get really, really clear. And then you leave with a tangible plan that you can go and implement and see new profits in your business. That uh, particular VIP day starts with an assessment and that's done virtually. So when you make your investment, you'll be sent an assessment where you'll answer a series of questions that helps me to be even more prepared on being able to support you on an even greater level when we actually sit face to face um, in our VIP strategy day. Those VIP days are $14.97. Um, for now, I have been allowing installments so you can pay a deposit to um, actually make the appointment, but the full amount has to be paid before uh, we actually, you know, handle our business. But all of those instructions um, are on the page that you would sign up for. So if you know, I, just, I need some clarity. I need to really push forward and I like to spend a private focused day on me and my business and where I want it to head. And then I want to leave with, you know, strategies. I want to be more clear when I'm marketing uh, my business on social media and my brand. I want to attract <clears throat> my ideal customers, right? Because we can attract customers all the time, but it doesn't mean that they're ideal. And so I share some of the strategies that I use that helps me to eliminate um, having people attracted to me who aren't really ideal for what I can offer. So I share those strategies with you. Guys, it's nothing like spending time sifting through um, clients or feeling like clients come to you to get a service and they can't afford the entire experience that you offer because you know your entire experience is what actually gives them the best results. Um, that brand clarity also allows you to um, focus on who's going to come in and be on your team, who's going to work inside your business with you that's going to fit and align with the culture. We work on your brand messaging and your brand messaging is um, the message that you're putting out in the marketplace that is actually causing people to either be attracted to your brand or not attracted to your brand. So that's one of the ways to uh, work with me in person. Uh, people, you know, sometimes they want to be in person. People don't always want to, to do it virtually. That is always an option that is open and available for you and your business to work with me and allow me to help you. Um, really shift sometimes it, and I find that people who are extremely busy don't always have 12 weeks to go through a course or you know six weeks to go through a course they really need one focused day um, that they can really get it all done and that's what the VIP day is for the second way to work with me and get help in your business um, in person and this opportunity is not always available but it just so happens to be available at the time that I'm sharing this with you, and that's my strategic leadership growth retreat. Uh, that is August the 3rd through the 5th in Asheville, North Carolina. I'll be working with a very small uh, group of women, service-based business owners, industry leaders, aspiring coaches, and salon professionals to uh, build time-rich models. When I say time-rich, I mean Productivity things that you do in your business that actually allow you more time, freedom, not just in your business, but in your life as well. Um, I'm going to go over team building. So we're going to focus on your brand, brand clarity in uh, our strategic leadership growth retreat and uh, team building. And then <clears throat> uh, different ways that you can profit. You're actually going to leave with an actual strategy. Um, that you can begin implementing actually while we're at the retreat. It's going to be a, an amazing environment. I've chosen a really beautiful venue and that was important to me because I know sometimes when we're in a learning environment, if we're in a stuffy room, uh, we tend to, to lose focus. I've created the uh, training sessions so that um, you're in a space where you feel comfortable talking about your, your vision and your dreams. There are gonna be other highly driven professionals there. I have people from um, Atlanta, Maryland, Oklahoma, 
um, Alabama, New Jersey, uh, gosh, and then I have a young lady who is signing up, she's registered, um, so far from up north in New York, no, uh, Texas, I can't remember, but people from all over are coming, um, so excited about the opportunity to share and be in person and really deep dive with people about their business so it's not going to be the type of retreat where we're running around the room and jumping up and down although there will be excitement um i can see tears <laughs> i can see tears because of breakthrough and aha moments that the women will have um, i have some special things planned in between our training sessions as well as a private chef now the reason i did a private chef instead of just you know regular catering attached to the event is because most of my current clients um which are my ideal customers are making lifestyle changes so they're eating differently many of them have transitioned to vegan or they are you know taking on an all vegetable diet and there's a significant difference in the two of those um, there there will be meat because I still eat meat, right? But um, I've been able to customize the meals and work with a private chef on making sure that there are things there for everyone to eat. However, um, I do know that vegan and vegetarian is, is different. Uh, so I could, I did go vegetarian, but not vegan. So if you can have a cheat day, um, that would be ideal for you. And the, the whole thing is working really on the whole person so we're going to take a look at how your business funds your lifestyle and not run your lifestyle because you can get strategies all day long but if they're not allowing you one to be productive and still be available for the things that you value then at the end of the day we end up feeling burned out so we're really going to step into spaces of expansion i have some tools that i have not taught to um, the community since I've been marketing online uh, that I use in my own life that I'm super excited to share. Um, it's gonna be in a really simple form. Uh, we're gonna work on those things, you know, while, while you're there. And everybody's just gonna come and get their whole life. So that is the second way to work with me privately. So for those of you who need help in your business and you are more of, um, a visual learner and you like to be in person those are the two ways to work with me my one day vip um, intensive and then the strategic leadership growth retreat which is an ongoing but it is available at this particular time for those of you who need more information you can go to renewfullcircle.com there's a tab that says work with tanya you'll see the vip day and and then there's a tab i believe right before that that says strategic leadership growth retreat and you can click through those links to find out more information but the premium is there's a two day and a three day for the retreat the premium uh two day is 997 and the three day is 1297 and the difference in the two day and the three day the vip um, opportunity has a an elite mini brand photo shoot included so those are the differences in those two there are only four spaces left for that VIP opportunity and only 11 spaces left for the actual event so I kept it intimate um, because I really want to be able to touch your business right I want you to really leave and not feel like you just you know watch a training or watch me talk but I also want you to be able to implement and get real life strategies uh, that will change the trajectory of your life and your business if you're serious about growing your business and you're really really looking to grow and then you want a, an opportunity to be around other entrepreneurs who are doing real things and getting real results in their business it's an amazing opportunity um, you do have to register so there's a few questions that you answer but that's to make sure that the event is aligned for where you are and where you want to grow in your business uh, and then uh, you'll be directed to a page with you know all the details where the hotel is I blocked uh, a room uh, a block of rooms with some amazing rates I feel blessed uh, to have gotten those rates for that property it's, it's a really really nice property as well 
um, but that is separate um, from your actual uh, retreat. So the retreat is nine ninety seven, but your hotel um, is not included. <clears throat> but the rates are amazing. And if you're looking to bring uh, another business buddy or um, or even family, Asheville is beautiful. So there are several tours, botanical gardens, um, there are organic farm tours. I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, there are spa services that you can get at the hotel. And then uh, there's tours, hop on and hop off tours that you can take. I'm actually arriving early and some of the uh, other participants are arriving early. It's a free day, but we're going to tour Asheville as well. So if you decide to come early, I did block the rooms uh, for days longer than the actual retreat. And, you know, you can come and take the tour with us. It's amazing. I did the tour last year and that's how I decided. Asheville feels like wealth. And if you follow me, you know I say that wealth is spiritual, tangible, and well-being. So there was just an amazing feeling that I had when I visited, and I wanted my guests to be able to experience it too. So if you're ready, if you know that I deserve an opportunity to one, get away, um, two, to be in an amazing uh, growth environment with more possibility and then actual strategies like real stuff, um, this is probably for you and we would love to have you love to have you come and join us so that's my broadcast for today for those of you who did not uh, who came on later be sure to go back to the beginning I gave some specific examples real life examples of a business that has probably 10 x uh, because they got help and then a business that is even um, having issues meeting the needs of the customer because they're doing it you know, as a one person thing, they don't have any help in their business. And so often we're not looking at the people that we're losing because we actually don't have help. And so we leave money on the table. We are overextended in the time that we're spending in our business. And my goal is to help as many women service based business owners create businesses and lifestyles that they love that allow them massive time freedom as they're on their journey to financial freedom. That's my take for today, guys. You can get all of that information on ways I can help you grow your business and we can work together at RenewFullCircle.com. Hit the Work With Tanya tab or the Strategic Leadership Growth. Those are the two in-person opportunities I have available at this time. I'll come back on tomorrow and I'll share some more ways that you can work with me privately um, so that you can grow your business or um, in coaching sessions, group coaching. Okay, have a good one.